Hi, I'm Kayla from Stone Road Creations, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to paint a Briar Gold Charm Stable Mate. So, here I have my Gold Charm Warm Blood, and he's got resist dapples, just like a Briar model would. So, today I'm going to show you how to do this. It's pretty simple. You're going to need a Stable Mate model. I got this one from the My Dream Horse kit. Then you're going to need some original tacky glue. You can probably use Elmer's glue, but I haven't tried it, so I've just been using the Arlene's tacky glue. Um, some gold paint. So here I have Iridescent Gold Fine by Golden Fluid Acrylics. I really like this paint a lot, um, but you could use any brand of gold paint that you want. Next, I've got some Burnt Sienna by Golden Fluids, and I've got some Titanium White. These are going to be used to mix together to create your um, flesh tone colors for the muzzle and for your hooves. Um, next, I recommend having a little paper plate to mix your paints on and possibly even lay your model on while you're painting. Um, you're going to want a small cup of water several paint brushes, and possibly just a paper towel to dry your brushes off on. So to prep your model, I would recommend using um, either regular standard sandpaper. I've got here 400 grit. You're going to want fine sandpapers. So I have 400 grit and I have 600 grit. You could also use carbide scrapers. If you have these, and just um, scrape away any seams that are on the model. Last, you're going to need your model. Okay, so obviously the big thing you're going to want to remove is his logo on the bottom. So for that, grab some sandpaper, 400 grit, and just start sanding that away. This might take a little while. That is actually really raised. Sometimes it takes a while to get it off. Next you're gonna wanna wash your model off. So I just run some warm water over my model. This is just trying to get all that dust off of it from sanding it. So, once you've thoroughly cleaned your model, you want to take it out of the sink, and you're going to want to let your horse dry now. So either set it on a dry paper towel and let it air dry, which could take several hours, or use a blow dryer. Just a regular hair dryer will help dry that model off in no time. Okay, the model is dry and we are ready to start applying the glue. So the glue is what's going to give us that resist dapple technique. So I've got some of my tacky glue here, and I'm just going to put a big blob here on my plate. Should be enough to get me started. Now, let's see. I probably also want to do my pinking on the muzzle first. So I'm going to mix up my color. I've got a little bit of titanium white here and my burnt sienna. Got my paintbrush, and I'm just gonna mix just a tiny dot of that burnt sienna in with my white. All right, that looks like a pretty good flesh tone. And I'm just gonna take a little dab of water and mix it in, just to water my paint down a little bit. This is gonna reduce any brush strokes that I might have. I'm gonna start applying that to his muzzle. Now, typically I would airbrush this on, um, considering a lot of beginner customizers probably aren't going to have an airbrush. Today I'm just going to hand paint everything. So with the original model, I airbrushed all of my colors. I did the same exact colors that I'm doing now, just airbrushed. Okay, so 
So there's my pink muzzle. I'm gonna rinse my paintbrush off, dry it on this paper towel. Okay, now I'm gonna start applying my little resist dapples. So I just dab some glue onto my paintbrush and I apply a dab onto the model. Try and make it a nice little circle. And that looks good. All right, let's see. Don't worry too much about um, overlapping. If you overlap the spots, that's great. That gives it a really nice technique. Make sure you vary your sizes. So if you need to get a smaller paintbrush, you can get a smaller paintbrush and do smaller dots. You can do larger dots. So once all your little dots of glue have been applied, you're going to have to let your horse sit for quite a while. It'll probably take about an hour or two for all these dots to dry. You want to make sure that they're fully dried before you start applying your paint. So see you in a couple hours. Okay, so my glue has had plenty of time to dry. And now I've got some gold paint here. I'm going to apply this with a brush. So typically I would airbrush this on, but a lot of new customizers don't have an airbrush. So I'm going to show you how you can do this technique with basic, simple tools that everyone has. So I've got my paint and as I apply the paint, I'm going to want to avoid the lower legs. I'm going to want to avoid the tail, avoid the mane, and try to avoid the front of the face here. He's going to look like he has a little bit of a blaze. Now, if your paint is going on too thick and you see a lot of brush strokes, you can add a little bit of water just to thin the paint out and that will help give you a much smoother look. All right, now I recommend giving your model about 10 minutes to dry and then applying a second coat. So here's my model with two coats of gold paint. Again, I avoided the tail, the lower legs, and the face and mane. So now I'm going to remove all these little glue blobs. So I actually, I don't think I called this out in my supplies earlier, the X-Acto knife. I'm gonna use the X-Acto knife and just gently pull away every little glob of glue. So this is going to take a while. You're going to want to be really careful not to poke yourself and just really gently pull these little globs of glue off. So there's our first glob of glue that came off.
as you're doing this, you want to go really gentle. You don't want to really scratch into the model too much. So just really carefully kind of push into that glue glob and pull it up. Push in and pull it up away. Sometimes you're not going to be able to get it very easily and you can always try pulling up another glue glob first or just work your way around. Okay, so it's time to finish up our model. So I have um, a little bit of titanium white and a little bit of burnt sienna here. I'm going to mix these two colors together. This is going to give me my flesh tone for my hooves. So you're really just going to want a little bit of that color. Okay, can use some more. Try and find what I think is going to be a good flesh tone. So maybe a little more white. Looks like a pretty good color. Okay, so apply your flesh tone color to the hooves. All right, so once you're done, um, you'll obviously paint your little black eyes. All they are is solid black dots. Um, and I just used a little bit of black paint for that. Um, so his hooves are done. He's got pinking on his muzzle, white blaze, white mane, white tail. And he's got his gold Florentine pattern. He is all done and ready for a clear coat. So don't forget to clear coat your models. Um, I suggest using um, some sort of matte or glossy clear coat. You can use Krylon. I personally prefer Krylon. Um, Rust-Oleum is another option. So yeah, hope you had fun. Enjoy your new model.